Hey there, in this episode of NS Tech, we'll be laying you out a $400 gaming PC build. And yes, you can build a $400 gaming PC. For 50 to be precise. So let's better move on before we take too long. This being an AMD APU build, we'll use an AMD X rated processing unit. AMD A10-7850K will be the one. Let me tell you more. This 6 CPU, oh sorry, APU, was out early this year. 15 January to be precise. AMD says that it can handle most games smoothly. This is probably the only CPU, uh, sorry, APU that can play most of the new titles without handling much of some problems. Not to forget that it supports MANT. So this FM2 plus A10 series 3.7 GHz quad core, uh, uh, wait, who can explain better than the AMD fellows? Well, this is what they say. Introducing the AMD A10 7850K, AMD's most advanced APU. So revolutionary challenges the very definition of a processor. With 12 compute cores, 4 CPU plus 8 GPU, featuring AMD Radeon R7 graphics, and exclusive features like AMD True Audio Technology 1 for immersive audio, it can take on Battlefield 4 or just about anything else you throw at it. And the best part is that you get a $60 Battlefield 4 for free. And a beer for Doctor. Solid bargain, right? So let's throw a Battlefield 4 at it. Hey. <laughs> it drains your pocket by $175. Hey, UK guy. It's $127 at your place. We've walked way too long in the APU, so let's move on. Gigabyte GA FT F2A 88XM D3H Micro ATX FM2 Plus Motherboard will be the one. Wow, can't pronounce that, can ya? What has this motherboard got? Um, quite a lot. 4 RAM slots, DDR3, 1333, 1600, 1866, 2133 MHz, up to 64 GB. Crossfire support? Sure. And 3 USB 3s. Cost 50 pounds in UK and 80 Ds in US. Mm, yeah, our RAM is G Sniper Series 8 GB, 24, DDR3, 2133 MHz. Always remember, if you are getting an APU and you plan to game offer a while on that, you need a fast RAM. APUs suck up a lot of RAM as they are almost entirely dependent on them. So prefer getting yourself a fast RAM like this one, which is 2133 MHz. It will set you back about by 7650 or 77 in the UK. Weird, eh? Let's see your hard disk, shall we? It should be Seagate Barracuda 1TB 3.5 and 7200 RPM. Yeah, right. Again, 16 US and 40 in UK. You know most of it, so nothing to see here. And well, have you seen the Thermal Take Commander MSI Snow Edition? It's good looks and specs with a tiny price tag is a must buy. This mid tower case has a USB 3, a USB 2, has 7 expansion slots, and can hold all the basic stuff. All in all, it does the job nicely and throws itself at the $35 or £45 price. Again, strange? Yes, it is. I think that UK can find itself under case, like a Cooler Master N200 or something like that, to keep the cost low and effective. All this stuff gets backed by Crosshair Builder 430W 80 Plus Bronze Certified ATX Power Supply. The best thing about this is its price. A C20 in US and a uh, not so sweet 35 in UK. Well, that was all about the components, so let's see the numbers. Numbers. Uh, that's the benchmarks on your screen, yeah. Uh, it'll play almost all games on 720 and 1080p. However, the real benefits of getting this APU is by attaching a AMD GPU to enhance its performance just massively. You can do hybrid crossfire with RSN 250 or 260 or even a 265. Give yourself an additional boost of high percentages. All in all, I consider this a good build. And if you get more money soon, you should add a GPU like the newly announced RSN 265 and use two AMD GPUs in a total as dual graphics. Can we consider that um, X-Fire? Yes. Cool, isn't it? So, I'd say that I did this build because there was some serious demand for it. Currently, I suggest everyone to get a GPU build instead of an APU one. But, if you can't afford a GPU currently or if you aren't much of a hardcore gamer. Okay, that's it.
spend some part of your Bitcoin on it and you're good to go. And if you like the video, like it. If you dislike the video, still like it. And if you of course love the video and you like gaming, text, PCs and that kind of stuff, then be sure to subscribe.